After four days of pizza and porchetta, an annual Labor Day tradition in downtown Scranton is coming to an end. La Festa Italiana wraps up in just under an hour, 8 o'clock tonight. A shower this afternoon, though, did not dampen the crowds at all there. Roughly 80 vendors have been set up on Courthouse Square all weekend long, selling anything and everything Italian. And as Eyewitness News reporter Errol Dabrell shows us now, La Festa's annual cannoli eating contest continues to grow in popularity. Three, two, go, go, go! Hey. Holy cannoli, hold on to your stomach. Looks to be on his third cannoli, already on his third cannoli. Seven people win head to head Monday, or should we say finger to mouth, trying to eat as many cannolis as they could in five minutes flat in the city of Scranton. He said go, and it was like they were just going down. One minute, 48 seconds on the clock. While it's not pretty, downing the popular pastries from the original Scala pastry shop is something you have to prepare for if you want to win. I ate this morning, then I just kind of took a break for a little bit and came back and ate right now. Tanner Stengel took third place, eating eight and a half cannolis. He was barely edged out by second place finisher Chris Cummings, who ate nine. The first five are pretty easy, they get down smooth, and after that, then it's just power. But other than that, it's they're delicious, so I don't care. <laughs> the undisputed king of the cannoli competition, however, is Russell Keeler. He finished 17, and while he's won this contest five out of seven times, over the last year he slimmed down, cutting dairy and sugars from his diet. So call him crazy, he didn't know if he'd come out on top again. They're heavy, they're dense, they're full of cream, they're full of sugar, they're, they're hard, so you got to be a little crazy, you got to be a little, you know, a little nuts to do some of this stuff. Testing the limits in a contest where you can only eat so much. With seven... In Scranton, Eric Dable, Eyewitness News. Mm. All right, now Dixon's uh, City's uh, Texas Roadhouse held a charity rib eating challenge today. Look at this. The participating teams, consisting of veterans, firefighters, police officers, and EMS workers, who competed to see who could tear through the most ribs. The winning team would walk away with bragging rights and a donation for the charity of their choice. So congratulations to the veterans team representing St. Francis Commons, downtown Scranton. They took home the trophy. Boy, this uh, segment of the news is sponsored by Tums because <laughs> between the cannolis and, uh, and the ribs, see, you got to combine the two contests. Oh! See, to me, cannolis, they're meant to be savored.